a desperate embrace. The Order family is clinging on to hope. We are speaking with our hearts in our hands. Their son, Vet Lucas Order, was one of two Australians on board a live export ship that capsized off Japan's coast more than a week ago. We beg you not to stop looking for Lucas and the other people missing at sea. Last week, authorities found a second survivor, a lone Filipino sailor floating in a lifeboat. But days later, Japan's Coast Guard effectively called off its full-time search, devastating loved ones. We understand that politicians and the Office of Foreign Affairs and Trade are working on potential solutions to recommence the search. Regardless, we cannot comprehend how the decision was made to stop the search. News that crew members had been wearing life vests and preparing to leave on boats has prompted calls for the Australian government to step in and lead a new search effort. We implore you not to give up on the chance of there being survivors. Which have been backed by the family of the second missing Australian, William Main Prize. We were such a survivor and um, He'd be out there helping um, all, the, all the crew he's with. The 27-year-old from Sydney had been working as a wildlife guide in Tasmania before boarding the ship to help look after the animals. I know that he would, he would really have no fear out there, as most people would. So that's kind of kind of a blessing. But also, we really miss him. We want, we want to, anyone to help. In a joint statement late this afternoon, the Deputy Prime Minister and the Foreign Affairs Minister acknowledged the family's distress and said Australia is encouraging Japan's ongoing air and sea efforts and continues to offer the Japanese authorities any supporting capability needed. Japan's Coast Guard has assured Australia it will not give up the search for those missing. There was collaboration internationally with MH370. After seven days, we feel we owe it to these people to keep searching for them. Kate McKenna, ABC News, Brisbane.